Hi guys, this is Murphy's Mom Needs to Mop. For Christmas, I asked for an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner because the cleaners I had been using really were not cutting it anymore, so I wanted to try something new. I received the Mop Horn Time 2 liter ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. It comes with a basket, a lid, um, and it holds about two liters of water. So I figured I'd give it a try today. I'm going to clean my heart necklace, another necklace, and an old pair of glasses. They're all very dirty, and I figured let's see how well they come out. So here we go. First, I set everything up, and as you can hear, the buzzers and the sound is kind of loud. Everything was in there for about 30 minutes. I took it out, had to put them back in for another 30 minutes. As you can see, my heart necklace, the, the inner stone came out, which it had done before, and I didn't mind as much because I had always popped it back in. But later on, I realized there were several um, little stones in the bottom of the tray that had shaken off. Everything went back in for another half an hour, and I added a little detergent this time because things weren't as clean as I wanted them to be. Okay, that's the sound with the lid on. Both the lid on and the lid off are a bit loud. Something you'll have to get used to. So after another 30 minutes, I took the necklaces out of the container and wiped them down and tried to get off any excess dirt I could. They came out okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the pictures. I took before I put everything in so I couldn't do a fair comparison at the end. So the next day I decided to do a few more necklaces. One of them was really bad as you can see. It was horrid. I hadn't been wearing it for a while. I had tried cleaning it. It didn't work. So I figured I'll do a round two. So set up for another 30 minutes, put everything in the basket, and let it run for a while. With these necklaces I added a little detergent and put everything in for 30 minutes. Took it out, wiped it down, and put it in for another 30 minutes. Finally, I decided I'd try doing two of my candlesticks. They weren't too bad, but I figured I'd give them a shot. I also put that really, 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 really dirty necklace back in there with it. So again, everything went in for 30 minutes, flipped, wiped it down, flipped it over, put it in. The candlesticks came out okay. They were old and I did not expect them to be perfect when they came out. The jewelry on the other hand, I had expectations of it coming out like new. And in reality, that wasn't going to happen. The jewelry was in really rough shape and there was no way it was going to come out perfectly. It did come out cleaner than it was originally, but it was not like new. I did, however, go back and do another set of jewelry after I finished filming this. And I have to say it came out much better. It was cleaner. It was shiny. It looked like it had been through a jewelry cleaner. And much better than I could have done with those little department store cleaners. Would I get it again? i probably get it again. It, I'm so happy with the way my other jewelry came out that I would try this one again. Have a good day.